In this fun little makeup case right here, I have the Ultimate Drugstore Makeup Kit. A starter kit for anybody that's just starting into makeup, but you also might want to stick around because there are some of my tried and trues in here from the drugstore, and there's also a lot of newness in here too. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. Before I do, I always give you a glimpse of what I'm wearing, and today this top is a nice lightweight short sleeve, well half sleeve actually, hits the elbow almost, sweater. has a little bit of a puff sleeve on there. It's ribbed. This is the lavender color, and it's just perfect for spring, so I'm excited to share that one with you. Also, the jewelry that I have on today and all of the things we talk about for makeup will be listed and linked down below. Let's get started with the makeup case first, because usually when you're talking about a drugstore makeup kit, you don't necessarily talk about the case, but I'm going to just give you a really quick overview. It has a brush case that comes with it. It also has a guitar strap that's kind of a leopard print. That's really nice because if you don't want to carry it by the handle, you can throw it over your shoulder. So I like that a lot. What I love about these cases, I've shown them to you before, is that when you open them up, they lay completely flat. And there is a lot of makeup in there. Can you see how much makeup I fit in there? And I still would have room for the brush case inside of there if I wanted to. The brush case surprisingly holds a lot. Lot as well. I don't have a ton put in here today, but it also has a pocket that you can put a lot of your brushes in and then lay some of your other ones in there. I also forgot to show you that on the big case, it does have some zipper pockets on there. And right over here, it does have some spots. That's going to be a little bit hard to see, but it does have some spots for some brushes to go in, especially some eye brushes. So that's nice to be able to have that in there. You could also put your lip pencil, your eye pencils, whatever you wanted to in there. And this comes in several different colors, and I have two of them. I have a pink one, that's the woven one, and then this is the ribbed looking one. Okay, so now let's get on to the makeup. I'm gonna let you know that I have everything on my face today for the makeup that I'm gonna show you. And in some cases, I'm gonna have a couple choices like for foundation, I'm gonna have two choices for you just to do the oily and the dry both. So, okay, this is up from Elf Skin and this is my new passion. <laughs> I really like this because it's a primer and the glow and the SPF all in one. And that is so good that you can get all of that from one product. This is the Sun Touchable Woe Glow. It has an SPF of 30. And remember I told you 30 is the bare minimum you want. Broad spectrum SPF, sun protection and makeup primer. Now this has three different colors. Why I'm so excited about this is because it has a little bit of that shimmer that we want, that glow in there that we want on our face. But why I like this even more than the halo glow that everybody's wearing is this is very sheer sinks in very nicely. It does give a little bit of the glow, but I didn't feel like I had an overpowering glow on my face. Sometimes when you're wanting to wear just sunscreen, if you reach for a sunscreen like this, you just look like you had a grease ball on your face. This one doesn't do that. I really enjoy that having this. I enjoy that there's a little bit of dimethicone in there that's going to fill in the pores and you get the glow and you get the sun protection. What more could you ask for? So for foundation, I am going to recommend, and I've been talking about this for a long time, the L'Oreal Pro Glow 24-Hour Infallible Wear Makeup. I love this. It gives you a beautiful, natural finish. It's a medium coverage. It always looks really good on my mature skin, and it lasts all day. Love it, love it all the way around. So this would be if you want something that's natural, if you have more on the dry skin side, then you might really love this. This is one of those that I feel like is every bit as good as any high end that I've ever tried. Also, I feel like that about the Revlon Color Stay Longwear Makeup. Again, 24 hour makeup. This one they have recently added hyaluronic acid to, but I wanna tell you that they have two formulas in this particular foundation. They have the Dry Normal and they have the Combo Oily. So either one you are, you pick that one up and I really feel like they will work for you. This has been compared time and time again to Estee Lauder, double wear and that's a makeup that stays on all day long no budge no transfer it's more of a matte makeup the one for the oily skin is going to be that more matte this one that is for the dry skin because it does have a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it it's going to give you kind of a soft matte look so either of these are so so good i only chose one concealer because i feel like this one concealer just about anybody can wear this is the 18 hour hydrating Catrice True Skin 
high coverage concealer. It says that it's waterproof. I do feel like it is. I have really bad dark circles under my eyes and I have to have a high coverage. And right now I'm going through some rosacea on my cheeks and stuff. So I have to have a little bit more coverage where I can take care of what the foundation didn't take care of. I love this one because it is not drying. You know, Tarte Shape Tape was the be all and the end all for so many, but it was not good for mature skin because mature skin does have to have a little bit of hydration and this one is really good for that. Now, if you feel like you only need a little bit of coverage, then I would suggest you really don't even worry about a concealer because you can go to something like this, which is the Pixie by Petra. This is their color corrector. And if it's darkness that you're trying to take care of, but it's not too bad, then you can wear this. Also, you can wear this underneath your concealer, then you use less concealer. So I do very light layers of both of these. So I'll go in first to take care of the darkness, with the corrector and then I put this on. But you might not need both of these. As a matter of fact, most people I come across don't need both, they use either or. So if you're just having a tiny bit of darkness, you know, right in the trough right there of the eye, then you might really just love using this product on, on its own. This color right here is peach and I do know that they have an apricot for darker skin. Peach is perfect for me. It's basically for anybody that has very fair to medium skin. And then the apricot one that they have would be medium to dark skin. So love this, it's been a staple in my makeup wardrobe for a very long time and love the concealer as well. Now for eyes, I chose to bring a beginner, the Milani Gilded Mini Palettes. These are really good because you get an assortment of colors that can give you a, a look, no problem, but you can get several looks out of here. And also, if you have lighter skin, you're gonna be able to get a look out of here. If you have deeper skin, you're gonna be able to get a look out of here. Now, this one itself is called the Wind Down. I hadn't really liked the Gilded formula until they came out with these six pan palettes. And then I was like, okay, these are really good. And I do have these on my eyes today. They blend very well together and you can get several looks, like I said, out of each pan. And I really love the fact that you get enough mattes to be able to get you that look. You do also get enough shimmers to be able to give you a nice look as well. I also love that they put in this almost grayish white color right here. Because if you got too dark on this or if you felt like this was too warm, you could dust that light color over your whole entire look and really make it neutral or even go a little bit on the cool tone side. So call me old fashioned and the wind down and you just about have your whole entire wardrobe unless you like a more pop of color and then they do have other palettes for that as well. Also my pick for a drugstore eye primer is the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is kind of a staple for just about everybody because it's just easy to use. Now, the one thing I will say that I'm not as happy about with this is that it doesn't take out any of the discoloration that you have on your lids. If you have a lot of discoloration, then I would say go for the Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. It has several colors from light to deep, so that would be good for taking out the discoloration. But this one is good just all around, very inexpensive, and this little tube lasts you forever. Also, I should have told you this while we were talking about foundation, is the LA Girl Pro Mix-In Mediums. These are a blue and a white. They also have a yellow, and I believe they have an orange. So if you find a foundation that is just too orange for you or it's just too dark for you this is going to help you not have to lose out on all that money a lot of us a lot of times will just trash the foundation because it just doesn't look good it gets too orange whatever the blue will help you fix that if you have too orange of a foundation the white will help you fix if you have too dark of a foundation i use this almost daily because my skin tone is quite cool toned and they just don't make foundations that are cool toned enough. This really does help with both of those. And then if you're somebody that can't get your foundation to be yellow enough because you have a very olive tone or something like that, the yellow to mix with the blue would be really good for you to put into any foundation as well. So these are invaluable to me. On top of foundation, I'm finding myself reaching for this LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder more and more. This one is in fair. Even though this is a very, very inexpensive powder, I do like the fact that it has pretty nice packaging. You get a mirror there, you get a puff down here, 
but the product itself is what really kind of blows me away. Not only is it super soft, super silky, and very creamy, but it has a little bit of coverage because it's that mineral wear. And I'm finding myself needing just a little bit of coverage, then I don't have to use so much foundation. And the foundation doesn't look cakey because I can use just a little bit extra on top of it. Now, it doesn't have to be that thick. Of course, you can shear it out so that it's very light and just blurs out your pores and boy does this one do that job too in blurring out your pores but it sets your makeup very well i really do like this this one i don't know if i said this is in fair and they do have a few other colors so this is a great powder i've likened this one to the Char charlotte tilbury flawless filter and i'm here to tell you that i've tried both on each side of my face and honestly they really are very very close now for a setting spray after you're done with your powder and your foundation your concealer I have really been enjoying this one and this one is fairly new to me and it's the LA Girl Setting Spray. It's the Fix and Set Makeup Pro Extended Wear. The reason that I like this is you'll see at the beginning that it says it has some glycols in it. They aren't the alcohol denate that dries. They're actually glycols that are humectants and they do soften the skin. So this is really, really good for keeping my makeup on and setting down my makeup, but at the same time, not drying me out. The mist on it isn't as good as I would like it to be, but the product inside amply makes up for that. By the way, this does have a little bit of a coconut smell in it. And I always like to tell people about coconut in products because my mother has an allergy to coconut oil. So I always like to heads up on that. So wanted to make sure I told you about that. My highlighter would have to be hands down the Catrice more than a highlighter. This is one that I have used and used and used and really love it. This is called Supreme Rose Beam. This is more along the lines of a champagne color, whereas the other one is more along the lines of a goldish color. This one is just, hopefully you're going to be able to see that. It is so pretty on your cheeks. You can see it on mine right here. It gives the most beautiful glow to your cheeks. And I love that about it. Whether I'm wearing a cream blush, a liquid blush, a powder blush, I always put my highlighters underneath my blush and this one just plays so nice underneath blush it's really really pretty for a bronzer slash contour product i recently told you about this as well this is from kiko milano it's the sculpt touch contour stick now the reason that i love this is because for me and my skin tone keep in mind again i'm fairly cool i i don't like a lot of orange what i like about this is it's right in the middle it just sits right in the middle so I'm not gonna have a muddy look, but I'm gonna have kind of a bronzed look without it being too orange. And that is what I absolutely love about this color. This is chocolate, super duper creamy, super duper easy to blend. And yeah, they, these sticks are so good from them. They do have one that is a little bit more on the warm side if you're interested in seeing that one as well. Now for blush, what I'm a little bit obsessed with right now are the liquid blushes from e.l.f. I feel like these are just almost identical. I'm gonna have to do a dupes video because obviously there's a lot of dupes in here. These are just about identical to the ones from Rare Beauty. And I love the ones from Rare Beauty, but I think I like these even more. Today I have on this one right here and it's called Something Mauve. I can't see what it says because my glasses aren't powered enough for itty bitty miniature microscopic letters that are on the label. So this is just a beautiful color. And the reason that I picked this particular color for the kit is because I felt like this would go for anybody that was warm, neutral, cool. Doesn't matter. This is so easy to blend out. I don't know if the Rare Beauty ones are this easy to blend out, but boy, I feel like that one is. Just use a little tiny bit, goes a long way, and I think you're going to really fall in love with blush again. Now, I do have a couple other colors. And like I said, apparently I can't read them because, you know, the print's too small. But I'll put down below what all the colors are for you that I picked out anyway. And yeah, really beautiful blushes. And these last on my cheek all day. For eyebrows, two products, and both of them are from e.l.f. Surprise, surprise. 
I recently found the e.l.f. ultra precise brow pencil and I think this one is in an ash brown and the reason that I like this so much and I love NYX micro brow I think that's a really great product But the reason that I chose this one for this kit and a beginner kit is because sometimes those micro brow pencils can get a little bit waxy And you have to work with them a little bit This is kind of foolproof and the reason is is because it's a little bit stiffer of a product So as I'm working with it, I can get what looks like very precise hair strokes on my eyebrows. So if you don't like a really stiff product, and when I say that, I mean kind of dry, um, whereas another one might be a little bit more emollient and go on like a crayon, this is going to go on like a pencil, a real pencil, where you have to kind of have a little bit of pressure, but you're really being able to make some eyebrow hair-like strokes. So I love this one. The other thing is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. The reason that I love this one, and I think this is a neutral brown, this might be an ash brown too, I'll make sure all this is linked for you below. The reason that I love this is not only is that the teeniest tiny little spoolie that catches all my eyebrow hair, what it also does is it has little fibers in it that will build up my eyebrow hairs. So this is catching the eyebrows and it's depositing little fibers so your eyebrows look more full. And I don't think they have this in a clear, but I'm sure that e.l.f. has a clear gel as well. This is just really good. So this is building the complete kit. You can tell that by now. I mean, we're going all the way with this whole kit. Another two products that recently came out from L'Oreal that I'm loving, and I've shown these to you before, but I'm gonna show, you, show them to you again because I feel like L'Oreal did such a great job. L'Oreal, I have quite a few products in here from them. This one is the new Infallible Grip. 36 hour gel mechanical liner. Now, do I feel like it's 36 hours? If you have your makeup on for 36 hours, you have it on too long. So this one is in brown and I love how easy this is to work with in the beginning. And then, you know, you can use this little smudger, you can use a brush, whatever. But before it dries down, you have time to go in and mess with it, smudge it out, make it look a lot lighter, or you can leave it a stark line if that's what you like. But I like that not only does it smudge out and it's really pretty, but once it's there, it's there. Now, waterline, I know some, I'm going to have somebody ask me about waterline. I would say in the waterline, this one does probably, I don't know, probably a couple hours. In, in all reality, unless you don't have any tears or any moisture in your eyes, you're not going to have an eyeliner in your waterline all day. That's just the harsh reality of it. But this one is good for around the eyes and I love the way it smudges out. It's so easy to work with and then it's there and then it's budge proof. Really love that. And then they also came out with their infallible grip liquid pen liners. It's called the Super Slim. And this one again is in brown. And what I love about this, oh my goodness, take a look at the tip on that. So you're laying that down and you're just kind of stamping along and you can get so very close to your lash line and love this and again it is very very budge proof i love using the brown on my lash line because it defines my lashes but it's not as stark as a black so pretty and so easy to use and wow waterproof budge proof whatever you want to call it it's good now i have two mascaras and the reason i have two mascaras is because i'm excited about both and i told you recently about both of them but i'm going to say it again because this is what i would put in an updated makeup kit the first one is the Essence Lash Princess, and this one does volume and length, and it's just got a very unassuming wand, like, you know, just a basic wand. But the brown in here is a deep enough brown that you're not gonna, you know, people aren't gonna be looking at you going, oh, you got weird on your eyelashes, because everybody's used to seeing black eyelashes. This is a deep, deep brown. So it's very pretty, very, very pretty. And I love Lash Princess anyway. You either love it or hate it, right? But I do love their formula. I love the length, the volume, and I really have enjoyed their formula anyway but love that they came out with a brown because it's so darn pretty, especially if you're fair as I am, or if you want to just try a brown out, if you're you know, doing a lot of neutral brown makeup and you just want to try a brown out, it's so good. I'm just loving it. But I have to say that the superstar of the mascaras that I've tried recently, and by the way, I am coming out with my yearly mascara roundup, 50, 50 mascaras, 50, five zero. I tried five zero mascaras, yes. But the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara that they have and that they just came out with, wow. 
I am so impressed with this. I truly, truly am. This mascara is got just kind of a Christmas tree brush, but the, the barbs on the end of it down here really grip and help to lengthen out your lashes. And then this tip right here, it really gets into all of those little bitty lashes that you can't seem to coat when you have just a regular mascara. Now, the beauty of this is not only does it hold your curl, lengthen and volumize, but also at the end of the day, no smudging, no flaking, and you will be taking it off with your mascara remover, whatever that be, whether it's micellar water or a balm or whatever, but it's not hard to get off. And that's what I love about this. This is, this is, oh, I'm so impressed with this. I used to absolutely adore the Lash Paradise, but this one, it beats it hands down because it looks like you just put it on at the end of the day and then it's so easy to take off. So I'm loving that. Lip liners has to be from Maybelline. I really do adore these lip liners. These are the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This first one right here is in Almond Rose. It's the one I have on. And I just outlined my lips and then I filled it in. That is such a pretty color. This is a very creamy formula. This next one is Dusty Rose. Now this one right here is more of a color of my lips, but better. So for me, that's a really true color that I could fill in as well and just have it look like a natural no makeup day. And then the last one that is the colored ones, this one is called Plum Passion. This is for a deep dramatic look when I want it almost like a purplish plum color. Love that, they have so many colors, you've gotta check these out. But this one right here is the clear one. And I've told you about this before, and it you're not gonna see anything on here, but it helps from anything bleeding outside your line, your lip line. So you line this, you could put it all over your lips if you want to, because then you're gonna, you know, kind of use it as a primer. But I line my lips and then I'll put on my regular lipstick and it doesn't bleed at all. And I find with any of these, my lipstick doesn't bleed, but these are beautiful and beautiful colors as well. These do have the sharpener in the bottom of them if you're somebody that likes that. And they are mechanical pencils. So love that. I did grab three lipsticks. And the reason I grabbed three is because I wanted to give you a variety of what you can wear, no matter what skin tone you are or what you prefer. These are the Reb Revlon Super Lustrous. And the first one I have is called Pink in the Afternoon. This is just a color that I grabbed because I thought it was so coral looking. I love that about it. The next one is Primrose. I talk about Primrose all the time because this is so cool toned. These are super creamy. They feel like just the most silky soft lipsticks on your lips. I would choose a Revlon lipstick over a Charlotte Tilbury or a Pat McGrath any day of the week. The last one's called Bear It All and I chose this one because it is a neutral tone, a almost like nude tone. Aren't they pretty? They're just so beautiful. And I've loved them for such a long time. And I swear you could go in there and pick out any color that suits you and you would be happy with the formula. These are all cream formulas. I like their mattes, but I prefer their clean creams, but that's just me personally. If you do like a matte, you might really love their matte formula. It's not a drying matte, it's just a good matte lipstick. End it all out with what I would choose for gloss if I was doing my makeup kit for the first time, and it would have to be these Milani lip glosses, and they're the Keep It Full ones. I adore these lip glosses. They are so darn good. Absolutely love them. I have Nude Shimmer. I'm not gonna show you the clear one because it won't show up at all anyway. And this one is called Moonlight, and I'm gonna show you that, but it has just a little bit of reflex in it, very pretty. And then the one I'm wearing today over top of that lip liner is called Tropical Shine, and it is a little bit of coral in there, and it's so pretty, I love it. These give you that little bit of cooling effect without being stinging. They're very hydrating. These are what I, I gravitate towards almost every single time I do my makeup. I just love how they make my lips look and I also love that cooling effect that they give like a buxom but not as strong. Just so good. And I do have one more thing that I wanna tell you. I, in this bag right here that is the brush bag, I recently was looking at Jessup's brushes and these are a set of Jessup eye brushes. You're surprised at what nice quality they have. One thing I would say about this is that you do have two fluffy blending brushes. I wish that they put just a couple more fluffy brushes in here, 
but you get a shader brush, you get the liner brushes, you get the eyebrow brush, you get the paddle brushes, you get the concealer brush, you get the one that is a lot like the BK Beauty concealer brush that um, Angie Hot and Flashy developed for them. Really good, beautiful brush. So I thought that for the price, this was really excellent. I really am quite impressed at the quality of Jessup's brushes and these were no different. I just think they're great. That is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing the makeup kit and the makeup bag. I love that makeup bag. It just goes everywhere with me now. So did I miss anything? Let me know in the comment section if I missed anything at all. I would love to hear from you and let me know what's in your kit from the drugstore or you know it doesn't have to necessarily be from the drugstore so hopefully you are doing really well and i appreciate you being here with me and spending your time i love you guys so much please come back around really soon to see me in my next video take care love you much bye bye